Hey YouTube, it's Billif here, and today I'm back with episode 15 of my Sutton United career mode on FIFA 22. And today is the start of season two. And the first thing we need to do, is choose our pre-season tournament. And looking at these, this one looks like the easiest one. I know it's the least prize money available, but I feel like it's the one I'm most likely to win, so I'm most likely to get more money out of it. So I'm gonna go for this tournament. And as you'll see here, we've got emails of a few players leaving, as well as this, a lot of other players ran out of contract. So that has left us with only 18 players at the start of this season. And some of them are real players as well. So I need to do a fair amount of business this summer and it's all going to be from the free agents market pretty much. And for the minute, this is pretty much how my team's looking. I've only got three youth players on the bench and a very disjointed first team. So I've got a goalkeeper in goal. That's about one of the only positions where I've got a player in the right position and I've got a backup for him. I've not got a single centre-back, so I've got a CDM and a right-back at centre-back. And I've actually put a different right-back at centre-back because he's taller. And now I've got this right-back at right-back and a left-back at left-back. So at least I have full-backs at full-back. Then in centre-mid, I've got two cams, which isn't the end of the world. I've got a left midfielder and a right midfielder occupying the wings. But then I've got one striker and a right midfielder up front. So I really need to do some business so I can just get enough players so I can at least play everyone in the right position. So I think the main order of business is minimum two centre-backs and one CDM so I can at least make a first 11 of players in the right position if I change formation. And I've already got some players in my shortlist from last season which I didn't sign. This guy probably would have been near the top of my list out of these three to sign because he's a striker but he's already a different team so I can't sign him. So let's remove him. But then this guy actually I do need a striker and this guy has 64 finishing so if I change this position he would make a good striker so I'm gonna sign this guy. So let's go to sign David Kovacs. He only wants a sporadic role which is fine by me but considering that finishing he'll probably be starting quite a lot of games. Uh, I'll give him three years because he's probably not got the greatest potential. Okay he wants five we'll counter at four. No release clause and his wages recommended wage 700 so let's go in at 700 and see what he says. And he's happy with that so that's our first sign in the window done. And now we have one reserve player and he'll go straight in up front. He's going to need a lot of training because he's only got a one star weak foot as well. But at least now I have two strikers who are able to kind of finish. I mean, he's a decent finisher, but he can't do much else. But he's a little bit more all around, but can't finish as well. But straight away, I'm going to get this guy training to be a striker. It's going to take seven weeks, apparently. So his other stats must be quite low. But at least he'll have decent finishing for when he gets there. Now I'm just going to search for players aged 16 to 21 in the free agents just to find all the regens in there. So I can scout them and hopefully sign some. Okay, there's a lot more than I thought they'd be because I'm only down at C in the surnames and I've already gone through all the players in the free agents. So I'm going to narrow the search parameters, I think. Right, I've scouted as many players as possible, but I can't afford to buy any more scouts. So I guess I'm going to have to wait till these are all scouted and then I'll scout some more. So now I've got the first game of the preseason tournament here and we win it 3-2. And now we've got the second game of the preseason tournament here and we draw it 3 all. Because all my players are really tired and I've not got that many players, I've only got three that I can actually train. So I've had to do a train drill with one of them in each. Now we've got the third game of the preseason tournament here, and we do win it 2-0. So we're through to the next round. Now I've got the semi-finals of the preseason tournament here, and we win 4-3 on penalties. And now we've got the final of the preseason tournament here, and we lose the final on penalties. And I've got the message that Kovac's position change is ready, even though it said it takes seven weeks, but oh well. Let's change his position to a striker, and he's a 56. But I don't need to train his finishing up, so I can just train all his other stats to get up to where they should be. But I think first, I'm actually going to have to train on a complete striker, so his weak foot just goes up a little bit, because it's a one star at the minute. And now I've got a scout ports back on loads of these players. So let's have a look, see if any are good enough to sign. I'm not going to lie, I think this guy might be out of my price range. Now I'm about to do some transfers, so I'll show you the rules for this season. But I'm not going to go through them again, so if you want to read them, just pause the video here and read them. Right, now I've got my shortlist full of all these players which are potential signings. And I've already signed one player this window, so I can only make four signings. And at least two of them have to be centre-backs and one has to be a defensive midfielder. I can only sign two players rated over 65 as well. And I think the first player I'm going to sign is Bouvet. Then I'm going to sign one centre-back and one CDM, both over 65, and then sign one of each below. And I'm going to sign a CDM that's tall as well that can cover centre-back and CDM. So I've got like three for each because I already have Verbruggen as a CDM. we right, so we've gone with Crucial Squad role, five-year contract and recommended wage of 750. So we'll offer him that and see what he says. And he's happy with 750, so that's the first player signed. Actually, it's the second player signed of the window. So the second player I'm going to sign is Eldar Kovacevic. Hopefully I'll say his, his name. So he's tall and he's the strongest of the CDMs, so he'll make good cover for centre-back. One of the crucial squad role, five-year contracts, so that's what I've offered him. And they've recommended 700, so let's see if he wants that. And he's happy with that, so that's the third player signed. I've decided it's going to be a change of plans, and both the CDMs are going to sign are going to be under 65 rated. And the second one I'm going to sign is Cordoba. So I like that he's got quite a nice, decent balance of stats, I think. He wanted a crucial squad role, and I've offered him four years, and he was happy with that. So let's give him this 700 and see if he's happy with that. And he's happy with 700, so that's 
our fourth signing. And my final sign in the window is going to be Marco Varela at centre-back. So out of all the centre-backs, I feel like he's got the best spread of stats that I want in a centre-back. He wanted a crucial role for five years and he's come in with, this is his contract, proposing what it should be. But I think I'm just going to counter, remove the bonuses and just up his wage. I'm going to up his wage to 750 because that's what the recommended wage is. And so let's see if he likes that. And he's just about happy with it. So that's our final sign in the window. And after those signings, this is how my team is looking for the season. My own Youth Academy players got Cairns, Strachan, Clays, Keys, Fisher, Abate and Scone. And for Rayla, Bouve, Cordoba and Kovacevic make up the free agent contingent. And on the bench, I've got all my outfield players who are regens or youth players. So that's Bevan, Loyton, Verbruggen, McMullen, Morrow, Flanagan and Kovacs, who is my other free agent player. And then in the reserves, I've got Wills and the four real players. So it's going to be a tough season with a squad this small, but due to the rules I put in place myself, I've got no choice. And it's going to be especially difficult considering youth players notoriously low stamina levels. Although some of them do have decent stamina, but I'm looking at like Abate and Scone have got quite poor stamina. And now it is the 28th of the month, so it's time to send out my first scouts of the season. And as you'll see, I've got some new scouts here, as I am allowed two-star judgment scouts in the second season I'm in League 2. But there's no cap on the experience level I can have, so I've gone for a four-star experience, a three-star experience, and a two-star experience scout. Ideally, I would have wanted all four-star experience, but I just couldn't afford to have all four stars, so I went for the best combination I could with the budget I had available. And the thing I need the most is centre-backs and CDMs, because even though I've signed some in the free agents, I've only got five players between the four positions that I've got on the pitch, so I still need some backup. So I'm going to send my best scout out to look for physically strong players in Spain. And the next position I need players in is winger. So I'm going to search for some wingers in France. And the third position I need players in is up front. And I know attacker hasn't been good as a player type to find strikers from in past FIFAs. But now since you can change the position of players, hopefully attacker will bring me back some players which I can at least change to up front. And hopefully I'll have good finishing so they'll just suit being up front straight away. So I'm going to search for attackers in Croatia because the scout's Croatian. So might as well send them to his homeland. And if you have any countries you want me to scout, when I send the scouts out next time, leave them in the comments below. And now we are here at the first game of the season and we're going to be playing Harrogate Town. As you will have just seen, this is the team I'm going to be going with. It honestly could be a lot worse. I've managed to get four players out of my academy, which are over 60 rated, which I'm quite happy with, to be honest. And then we have three, which are high 50s. So they're getting pretty close to 60. So they should make it to that fairly early in the season. And then the four players we signed are all fairly decent rating as well. But I'm looking at the team and it's the wide areas, specifically the fullbacks where we're weak to be honest with the central area of the team you know the center backs and the three central midfielders they're the strongest area of the team so i honestly have no idea how this is going to go anyway let's get into this game against harrogate in the first game of the season and hope we can get a good start to the season strachan's got the ball here looking for a run fisher has made that Fisher's going to play it across now scone has it scone shoots but scone shoots wide that's a really good ball into the box from harrogate cairns makes a save Let's go and place it to Abate here. He's got Fisher on the outside of him. We'll play it to Fisher. Go back to Abate here. Abate will have a chance to shoot. The shot's blocked. Strachan can't win the header. Harrogate got a chance in on goal here. Cairns comes to meet him. I can't change player. I was trying to change player and it wouldn't let me. If I'd have actually been able to change player there, I might have been able to get to the ball to stop it from going in the net. But that's 1-0 to Harrogate. That's a good ball into the box. I thought Cairns might have actually dealt with that before it got to him, but he makes a save. Abate's got the ball here. No one coming to close him down, and he's taken out on the edge of the box. So we will have a free kick here, and that is a red card for Harrogate. So now if we can score this free kick here, that'll be a really good reply for us. And it'll give us a good chance against the 10 men. Steps up to take it, but it's an easy save by the keeper. Abate's got the ball here and Scone was running through. I was about to play it to him, but before I get the chance, the ref blows for half time and we are losing 1 0. We've not really been able to create many chances, so hopefully that can improve in the second half. That's a good ball from Harrogate there. Chance to run it into the box. He's gone past my defender, but Ken saves with the feet. Abate's got the ball here. Go play it through. It's a good ball. Fisher is in. Fisher can drag it really far wide. That's a poor finish from Fisher. They've got a ball into the box there, and that is a save by Cairns, but he's pointing to the spot, of course he has. You know, after the ball's already gone and they try and make a block, I wish they'd recognise that in the game that, so this wouldn't happen and then they wouldn't give penalties for it. But now Harrogate have the penalty here, so hopefully Cairns can make the save, and he does! Cairns, on his debut, makes a penalty save. That's a good save by him. But now you look at the team here, and there's quite a few players that are quite tired already. So I'm going to have to make some subs. McMullen's bringing the ball forward here, and he's fresh legs, and he is fairly quick. So I just need to get it forward. I need to get past this defender now. It's a pass inside. It's not a great ball, but Keys has it. Keys shoots. And that's a save by the goalkeeper. 
Barté's got the ball here. Go try an ambitious ball to get it over to McMullen. Might be slightly overhit, but I think he could get to it. He has. Go try and play it across. Keys with the shot. It's been blocked. Harrogate with the ball in a good position here. Have that shot, but it's gone wide. Barté's got the ball here. Running forward with it. I'm just going to hit a shot from range with him. It's been blocked. And that is full time. And we do lose 1-0 to Harrogate on the opening day. And I can tell this season is going to be difficult with this team. But there are signs of promise. We weren't awful. Our defence looks okay with them two centre-backs. And the full-backs are fairly good at defending. But they're not great going forward. And it's clear to me that Abate is by far and away our best player. And he is going to be so crucial for us this season. He was the only one who was actually really able to create any of the chances we did create. And now we've got the second and final game of the episode here. I'm only going to play two games because we had a few minutes at the start of the episode just setting the season up and this game is going to be against Rochdale in the Carabao Cup and basically any position where I've been able to rotate my players there I have done because if you look at the bench you can see that they're all tired and I'll need my best team for the league so this is the team I'm going with for this game actually I've also just changed keeper and put Willis in goal because I forgot I had a second keeper so we'll give him a chance as well so let's get into this game against Rochdale and I'm low-key hoping they knock us out because I've not got enough players to keep rotating the team in the cup the ball down the line to Fisher here He's completely open, but he's got no one in the box to cross to. I'm just going to put a cross in now, and it's going behind for a corner. Flanagan will put this ball in. Hopefully, I can win the header, and I might there, and I can't quite win it. The Fisher has picked it up here. I'm just going to hit a shot with Fisher. Not a bad effort, and the keeper saves it. Fisher's going to play it out to Flanagan here. Lays it off to Kovacevic. Now, Fisher's going to hit that shot, and it's going to go wide. We've got the ball to a good position here. They're going to shoot, and they're going to go 1-0 up here. Loyton's got the ball here going to clip it into Fisher now Fisher's got the ball in the box has that shot and Fisher has finished it into the bottom corner I've got to be honest he has looked the most likely this game he's already had a couple of efforts and that one was a good finish into the bottom corner there just clipped it over two defenders that came close to Loyton just takes one touch then a half volley into the bottom left corner it's a really good finish to get it past that defender as well and past the keeper through the defender's legs as well. A little bit of curve on it. It's a really good finish. And that is one all. And that's our first goal of the season. They've had that shot there. But Varela blocks it. And then keeper comes and claims it. Loyton's got the ball here. Going to play the ball down the line to Fisher. In a decent position to cross the ball here. Not a bad ball. And Flanagan just can't get his head to it. It's a good ball into the box there. And that's a good save from the keeper. Oh, I've missed the slide tackle there. And now they've had that shot and that has made its way into the net. That probably should have been saved by Wills, to be honest. But they've gone 2-1 up just before half time. Yeah, he should have saved that. And now that is half time. And after that goal, we are losing 2-1. I'm not going to lie. I think it probably should be level at the break. Bevan's played it forward there. Kovacs can play it through. It's a bit wide for Kovacevic. Going to play it back here. That's not where it meant to go. But Fish is going to strike it and strikes it over. Flanagan's got the ball here. Plays it out to Keys. That's a really wide ball, though. Going to cut back under the fender and just put a cross in. It's not a bad ball, but it's not made it to anyone. But for Bruggen can win it. Drop to Keys. He's just going to... Drop down to Scone there. He's going to play it to Flanagan. Flanagan's going to shoot, and it's been blocked. And that is full time, and we do lose 2-1 to Rochdale. And I'm kind of glad that we're out of the cup because my players are absolutely knackered at the end of this game. So I'm glad that I won't have to pay the extra games of staying in the cup now. And now that is the end of this episode. So not a great start to the season with two losses, but not awful either. We only lost 1-0 and 2-1, so it could have been a lot worse. But anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you want to carry on watching this series, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.